In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the idle air control valve in this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. On the throttle body, you can see where the valve is. Just disconnect the connector right here. Just pull that tab, slide it out. Using a T20 socket, we're gonna take the screws out. Just be careful not to drop them. And the other screw is behind here. Just got to feel around for it. And take this one out. Again, be careful not to drop it. Once you get it pretty loose, you can take the whole valve, just slide the valve out with it. And there we go, pull it out. There's the screw. Make sure you got the O-ring as well. Take the new valve, you want to make sure the O-ring is on there, slide that in place. I'm actually going to put that lower screw in because it will be easier to line up. Just slide that in, put the other screw in. Now I'm going to torque these bolts to 27 inch pounds. If you can get a torque wrench in there for the lower bolt, again, 27 inch pounds. If not, do the best you can. Take the connector, line it up and lock it down. After you're done this procedure, you're going to want to do an idle relearn. What you need to do is block the drive wheels and set the parking brake start the vehicle with the AC off. Once the vehicle is up to operating temperature, shift the vehicle into drive with your foot on the brake and allow it to idle for five minutes. After that, shift into park, again, another five minutes, and then turn the vehicle off for 30 seconds. And then the idle has been relearned. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.